is up everybody welcome to another episode of drum dums drive uh yesterday i let you guys know that john carpenter himself was uh gonna be executive producer of the new halloween movie and i'm not gonna lie i've been on cloud nine ever since the possibilities and really this story just kind of blew up the internet yesterday it was really cool i mean because i mean really think about this john carpenter has not been a part of the halloween franchise for over 30 years and when h2o was uh being filmed or before it was even planned out jamie lee curtis asked john carpenter to direct and john carpenter said thanks but no thanks he was not looking to get involved with halloween anymore you know and i really don't know what his beef with halloween was i know that they kind of had a falling out before Halloween 4 was uh, was made. So maybe there was a little bit of bad blood there. But it's just so interesting that after all this time, John Carpenter said, you know what? Let me get back in this thing and let's make the wrong things right. Like I said, imagine the possibilities. I mean, can you imagine a new Halloween film with the name John Carpenter behind it? And I know he's not going to direct, but... Let me just say, I've studied a lot of John Carpenter, his interviews, his movies, and I don't think John Carpenter would get involved, even as executive producer, if he didn't want to be a little bit quote-unquote hands-on. I think he will get involved with the production of this movie. I think he is going to take whoever directs this movie under his wing and, you know, give advice and say, you know, this is what I did at this time to make this particular scene work. And that just it really just excites me, guys. I am just so ecstatic about where this could go. Now, let's talk about uh, possible directors because already some names are being thrown around. Uh, the first one that I heard was Mike Flanagan, who did Hush, who did Oculus, and that automatically got me excited. He is a good director. I like both those movies very much. If you watch those movies, Hush and Oculus, there is a lot of suspense. It's not really like gory or, you know, bloody. I mean, there is some, some blood in there, but you can tell that this is a director that likes suspense. Another name that has been thrown around, uh, and he even threw himself around, I guess, is uh, Adam Wingard. Now, if you remember, Adam Wingard directed Your Next and The Guest, and those two movies are probably Two of my favorite horror movies in the last five years. Now, The Guest isn't really a horror movie, but it does have some horror elements there. And there are some winks to Halloween 3 in that movie. And Adam Wingard's actually a massive Halloween fan. And he even posted some pictures from Halloween 3 and the first Halloween after news broke that John Carpenter was going to get involved. That's how much he cares about this franchise. So if he got involved with Halloween, this could be great. It really could just be awesome. And then another name that I've heard it in certain circles, but I don't think it's going to happen, is David Robert Mitchell, who did It Follows. Now, if you watch my channel, you know how I feel about It Follows. What a movie. I loved It Follows. It currently sits in my top five all-time favorite horror movies. That's how much I loved It Follows. So the thought of David Robert Mitchell getting behind Halloween, directing a Halloween movie, it, it is enticing. Uh, do I think it'll happen? Probably not because I know he has his hands full with other projects right now. But I, I couldn't not make another video to talk about this because this is just so big. I mean, this news is just, for any horror fan, if you are a serious horror fan, you know what John Carpenter means to horror. I mean, he is the master. I mean, Wes Craven, to me, is the only comparable director to John Carpenter, really. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this develops. Uh, I'm really hoping we get a movie in 2017. That's another thing I want to talk about. The experience of seeing a Halloween movie in the theater, for me, it's like Star Wars, you know, for a Star Wars fanatic. Okay guys, uh, sorry for the break. I had a phone call, had to take it. But anyway, uh, like I was saying, when you hear that Halloween theme come on, on the big screen, it's, it, it's just breathtaking. And I get so excited, the adrenaline flows, and just seeing a new Michael Myers movie 
it's, it's just exhilarating. But anyway, guys, really, I just wanted to make this Drum Dums Drive about Halloween because I just love this franchise so much. I'm so excited right now. And let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. I know you guys left tons of comments uh, on my announcement video about that, but feel free to jump in and maybe give your theories. What do you look for in the next Halloween movie? What gets you excited? Do you want there to be that family element or do you want Michael to just have no reason whatsoever like in the first movie? Uh, looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd, and drum dumb out.